Good morning, grade nines. Sorry I couldn't be with you in person this morning, but through the magic of YouTube, uh, we can still be together. So our topic today is angles in a triangle, and our goal, I know how many degrees there are in any triangle, and I can solve for missing angles using this information. So having a look here, 180 degrees is a straight line. That's important. I'm going to have you do a little mini investigation, and you have to remember that 180 degrees is a straight line. Um, that's also called a half turn as I rotate from one side to the other along this dot. It's half a rotation uh, and it's 180 degrees. So here's a little investigation I want you to do with triangles. I want you to carefully make a triangle with a piece of scrap paper. You'll need to use a straight edge for this, just the side of your binder or something will work for that. So carefully make a triangle with a piece of scrap paper color the tips of the triangle all with the same color or just put a dot on them or something um, so that you can tell which were the vertexes of the triangle. Uh, rip off each corner of the triangle and arrange them so that the colored corners are all touching. And what do you notice? Turn and talk to your neighbors and discuss what this means about the angles in the triangle. Uh, and uh, I'd like the video to be paused and before we come back to my video there is a second link to a triangle demonstration in the calendar. Uh, if you would please play that before you carry on with this lesson. And so now you're back and hopefully you made some conclusions about how many or what the degrees add up to in any triangle and our conclusion, your conclusion should have been there are 180 degrees in any triangle. I can't type this morning. G L E. There we go. Any triangle. Okay. Uh, so we're going to use that to do a few examples here. So uh, this is the actual note. There, the angles in a triangle will always add up to 180 degrees. This is called the angle sum of a triangle theorem. And we're going to use the angle sum of a triangle theorem to determine the angles in these triangles. So in this triangle right here, we already know that it has 119 degrees in that corner and 34 degrees in that corner. Uh, so the angle sum of a triangle theorem says that uh, to find B, all I really need to do is take 180 degrees, which is in the triangle, and subtract off the two corners that I already know and that will leave us with 27 degrees. Now going over to this triangle, B equals, and you can add up the two sides first, 26 plus 45 can add them up first and then subtract them from 180 degrees if you want to. Uh, the result will be the same as if you just subtracted them straight off 180 degrees. Uh, in this case we get 161 degrees. Now taking a look at the next two questions. Can a triangle be formed that has the following angles? Well, I don't know. Do they add up to 180 degrees? 40 plus 60 is 100, plus 75 is 175. Uh, so therefore, uh, no, uh, it's not 180 degrees. How about over here? 14 plus 52 plus 118. That one adds up to 184. So once again, no, it's not 180 degrees. Okay, the next example talks about an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle has two sides and two equal angles. So the first one, if, If the two equal angles are 40 degrees, so let's actually draw that. It's much, much easier if you draw it. So it says the two equal angles are 40 degrees. Uh, 
about what is the remaining angle. So what is this one up here? Well, this one's pretty easy. I've got two 40 degrees angles and one up here. So that's just by angle sum of a triangle theorem. I add up the 40 plus 40 and then subtract it from 180, which means that the remaining angle is 100 degrees. Now part B is a little bit different because it says the third angle. So we're going to draw that out again, draw my little triangle. Um, and it says the third angle, so we've got the two equal sides down here, and the third angle is 92 degrees. So what are the two equal angles? Well, let's see how much we have left over from that 92 degrees. Uh, 180, subtract 92, uh, equals 88 degrees. So we've got 88 degrees left over for these two angles. And since they have to be equal, all I have to do is split that in two. So 88 degrees split in two is 44 degrees for each of these little angles in there. And hopefully that's enough uh, for you to be able to work on the questions in your textbook and you should be able to get them done in class time.